so this is the uh, Via Transit Center and they're painting or washing this building over here so go over and ask my questions to the security guard see why they have both transit security and transit police it kind of seems like a waste to me but I guess it's a cost saving thing How you doing, officer? I had a couple of questions for you. So you're with uh, Transit Security. Is that a city or is that a private security company? I work for VIA. You work for VIA, so yes. it's direct. I'm, you're... I'm a VIA employee. Okay, that, that answers my question. Can, can you tell me why they have uh, the Transit Police and then a separate security as well? We're part of the Transit Police Department. We're all part of the whole... Okay, so, so I mean, I see you're a level three guard, obviously. Right. You're carrying a firearm. Um, so I guess that's just a cost saving thing so they don't have to hire peace officers, is that why or? No, no, it just helps, this is a thing, it's just an, an extra little tool. Oh. We have it in places where it's probably a little bit more dangerous, and we're a little more trained. Okay, well I mean I, I yeah. certainly understand that. I, again, it, it's confusing to the average citizen when, yeah. you, when you see... Uh, you know, like most, most transit agencies, they either have a transit police department and a contract security company. Right. Or they have their own in-house security but contract police officers we're one of the few that have both okay and we're not everywhere we have we do have contact security at the parking lot it's a certain places they have in-house security officers. okay so you guys also do hire yes. contracted security yes sir. and um you certainly don't have to answer this if, it, if it's whatever but i mean it'd be obvious are, are the contracted security also level three or, or level four or are they just unarmed as far as I know, they're level three. As far as I know, oh, my oh. understanding. Okay, not not a problem. I mean, it you know, to me, if if you're you know in uniform or whatever, you know, and you're in yeah. authority. So this particular complex all around here, this is obviously the the downtown bus depot. Uh, it's the yeah, Central Plaza. It's one of the uh, little hubs where all these buses kind of go to the west side, kind of a little hub area. Right. So out on some of the uh, public bus stops that are throughout the city. Right. Some of them have signs saying like you can't smoke within 25 feet um, of those. So you you have authority that's, that's within actually, those areas. That's actually a, so I have authority at, at we own properties. Anything we lease, we own, we operate. Um, but majority of when it comes to smoking is that's going to be a city ordinance that the city of San Antonio did. Okay. Um, and that's where you can get hit with uh, it's 20 feet away from a bus shelter. You have to be to smoke. Right. Okay. So, well, I, I see those, and yeah. I've always, you know, like put my cigarette out or walked around because I, I mean, I get it. Well, the the ordinance is there for a reason. If you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're just walking through, it's not an issue. It's people who are just kind of sitting, sitting there, there and, and smoking and stuff like that. They don't, they don't allow you to go 20. And most people, I tell people, you literally walk 20 feet. It's not that far. Walk, smoke a cigarette real fast, and then come right back. It's okay. Easy, easy, easy. Well, Officer Cavazos, I, I appreciate you, you being friendly and informative with me. Uh, typically. I, I do post things online with good interactions with uh, government employees. I mean, that's one of the first reasons why I asked you, are you a contract security or do you work for, you know, the city? Um, I want to say you represented the city well and you're polite and informative and I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, do you have any problem if I do post this encounter on YouTube? You can do with it what you like, sir. Okay, not a problem. Uh, as you see, I, I face this camera away because sometimes officers get anxious or nervous. Um, if it's okay with you, I'll just face it to get a, a quick face shot and, and say, okay, well, again, I, I appreciate you being polite and courteous, uh, Officer Cavazos, and you have a great and safe day. All right, you too, sir. Okay, thank you. And again, uh, excellent interview, polite, friendly, public employee, and that's what we're looking for down here. Okay. Uh, so, uh, one other just follow up. Uh, the, the other officer told me where the smoking area is. Right. When I get off of this property, I'm going to go around and, and make a right. Uh, there, there's not a city ordinance that you're aware of that says I can't smoke when I get off that property. I know no. in downtown there's yeah, areas. They, there's, usually most time, from what I understand, downtown is mainly in buildings. Yeah, down um, in the market and, square and, and, and the so river walk. From the building up for something like that, but I'm not familiar with that city ordinance. But if you're smoking as you're walking, it's not the it's not the end of the world. It's just as long as you're not just hanging out at the bus stop smoking. Yeah, gotcha. That's all we care about.